Let's figure out which one of these fractions, 7 eighths or 6 sevenths, is a larger fraction. So is 7 divided by 8 or 6 divided by 7 a larger fraction? Two ways we can do this. First, we could find a common denominator. So the denominator, that's on the bottom. So if we can get this number to be the same for both of these, then we could compare their numerators. And the one with the larger numerator, that'd be the bigger fraction. So let's do that first. So I could list all the multiples of 8 and 7, see if I could find a common multiple. But in this case, I'm just going to multiply 8 times 7, because that'll give me 56. And here, I'm going to multiply 7 by 8, because that'll give me 56. So now I have the same denominator. But I can't just multiply by 7. I have to multiply by 7 over 7. That's because 7 over 7, that's 1. So I'm really just multiplying by 1. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 7 is 56. So 7 over 8, it's the same thing as 49 over 56. Down here, we'll multiply the top and bottom by 8. We get 48 over 56. So now we have that same denominator. We can compare the numerator here, see which one's larger. 49 is larger than 58. So 7 eighths, that's just a little bit bigger than 6 sevenths. We could also convert these fractions to decimals and compare. So 49 divided by 56, that's 0 0.875. 48 divided by 56, that's 0 0.8571. And we'll just leave it here. Because we can see that 0 0.875 is larger than 0 0.857. There, once again, 7 eighths. That's a greater fraction than 6 sevenths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.